welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening your time thank you guys for your continuous support please subscribe to our channel if you haven't turned on the bell for more video welcome our new members to the old ones god bless you if you're passing by please join us as you're supporting us may the last watch in everything you lay your hands amen to the news and details guys do us a favor if you haven't hit that red button that says subscribe the bell that says all the yes as you get to know when we we'll upload new video Permit me to read the news the way it is, and this news reads, China government reminds Nigeria government the need to pay its debt within the agreed period of time or risk losing its national sovereignty. Many Nigerians have expressed concern over China taking control of Uganda's only international airport. Why, title, why little is known about the loan arrangement reached between China and Nigeria, we have compiled a list of how much Nigeria owes five countries, including China. And the total depth of this list amounts to 1.75 trillion. Hmm. As expected, China accounts for the highest debt stock by countries, and the debts were obtained through bilateral agreements. Many Nigerians are against the borrowing, spread of the current Fulani administration and its cabals as it seeks to provide more unseen infrastructure and dwelling revenue. Guys, that is how the news came. If you do not know, um, China has taken over, yes, it has taken over Uganda only airline. Yes, it has been on the news and now Nigerians are worried. Let us quickly take Commentaries from some Nigerians. Somebody said Buhari has sold Nigeria to China. There is no doubt about that. The problem is that we have not stopped borrowing. We are talking about China's debt. We had already borrowed from all parts of the world and we are continuing. How do we get out of this wood? Somebody says, Buhari, how many times did I call you? Buhari, how many times did I call you? You have finished this country, including our unborn children, somebody says. Every effort done to improve the value of Naira by day only use banditry, terrorism, and politics to devalue it, somebody says. I will not be surprised if they take over Nigeria government of the Fulani and for the Fulani with will continue to borrow. That's what they know best to do. Somebody says, I have no business with Nigeria. All hell be for is say, hashtag freedom, hashtag Mazen Namdekano. Somebody says, Niger, how market now? China don't take Uganda airport tone. I never hear them. Who knows whether not the Niger airport they would take soon. So sad. The truth is that Nigeria does not have a president. Now, who signed the document with China government don't know what you people are talking about. Somebody says, Nigerians on the edge, confusion everywhere. As China warms up to take over contraception called Nigeria due to their inability to pay back loans as agreed. This is really sad. If they come, let them carry Ogabubu and his cabinet members. We are okay with that. We Nigerians can't come and kill ourselves for nothing. We were not there when he borrowed. China is a very wicked country going about taking advantage of vulnerable countries and, tre and, tre and threatening to take over their, their centuries. May God Almighty never allow China to succeed in its wicked and subtle crusade. God bless Nigeria. Long live Nigeria. Somebody says... And I never see anything. When they tell Uganda, it shock them. <laughs> it goes to shock on her. Somebody says, where is the Minister of Information? Where is his personal assistant? Don't they know what is going on? These people are not fit to be in government. Somebody says, Chinese government are the real chew teller. I go who lends you money and collect your assets if you don't pay back in due time somebody says make china forward i know say beer friends go still bail ourselves now on i go enter and wait on her head somebody says i ask again where is the minister of information and where is his personal assistance where is the vp somebody says 
all center can no longer hold okay guys we have a lot of commentaries in the section below but the question is it is sad when i saw that news yesterday of um, china taking over uganda airport i'm like oh my goodness how are you sure these people are not going to come to Nigeria to claim Nigerians on soon? Because a lot of borrowing, borrowing, borrowing has been happening with China. And you know one thing, when you borrow money, people are so happy to borrow your money and they pray you do not pay so they can come and take over whatever you use as collateral. It is really sad. And just like somebody asks at the section, where is uh, the Minister of Information, Lailai Mohammed, that knows everything, that speaks uh, through both sides of his mouth. Where is he now? What is happening? Where is the personal assistant to the president, uh, Femi Adeshin or whatever he's called? Now it is the time. Why couldn't they advise the government on the borrowing? Why couldn't they advise the president to, you know, to stop borrowing? But no, they kept borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. There was this um, video I made where he said, well, he will keep borrowing and the next people that will come into power are going to upset the debts. Oh my goodness. Honestly, these people don't even know the way forward of Nigerians. And the most important fact is, somebody made a very delicate point that the unborn children has even been sold because the people are going to end up paying this debt. That is the thing there. That is what is happening. Now, Uganda couldn't pay its debt to China. They had to pay the hard way. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I just hope that this thing doesn't resolve, you know, that it doesn't end so bad. And I hope it's been resolved earliest. And these people should just stop borrowing. That is just it. Because it's affecting everybody. In fact, if you are a Nigerian now, <laughs> you are answerable to China. Because the money they borrowed is on your head. You are a citizen. These are my thoughts. Let me know of yours in the section below. Please do not forget at this point, if you're not subscribed to our channel, do us a favor. Hit that red button that says subscribe. Turn on the bell that says all. Oh, the access you get to know when we upload new video. I want to really get your, you know, your thoughts in this depth issue. And um, do not forget to like and share if you can. I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.